people are here parking for the weekend. And uh, like I, I believe this guy is right here. Probably went home, probably home right now. Older T600. Canadian truck, DeBoer. Here's a Creek Carrier truck. They got a wrap on it. A real popular thing for trucking companies to do. They put that film over it. Drivers really like that. Pretty new Freightliner. I'm not familiar with them. He's a flat better. Let's see what he's got. Plywood's getting wet this weekend. Here he's got some 4x6s. It's a nice trailer here. Interesting uh, setup for how they hold their straps. Instead of going directly into the rub rail, they come down and they go across there. And they have a little message on there. This is an East. East makes pretty good equipment. Got the spools, typical. Uh, portable spool. It's a pocket spool. So you can put one of these spools, it comes loose, and will lock into the pocket. So you can put one of those anywhere, which is kind of a nice thing. D&L 860 here. Flat better. You can see his radar off the front. Chucked in there. Oh, he's had an accident. Those are expensive pieces to fix. It's got a drop depth flat. This is what they call a single drop flat. So it comes back, makes one drop and goes back. Oftentimes you'll see these guys then they'll have a bulkhead. They'll have a bulkhead that is part of the actual trailer configuration made of aluminum and they can then they carry a load that's on that top deck it will actually raise up and they can put it below other pieces let's walk over this way here see if we can see If you're parking in a truck stop and you have a nice clear area back behind you that you know no one's going to be parking there and it won't hamper you when you uh, leave in the morning or whenever you can pull out, you can do a pull-in like this guy did right here. So he, he pulled in straight out from him. He has clear driveway. You wouldn't want to pull in to a, an angled spot because although you can get in, it's very difficult to get out. Let's look at this Kenworth here. He's got a horse, no, a dog. Foot ornament there. W900, flat better. I haven't been able to get out and video more. I guess I could. I've made a couple attempts and weather kept me down. I'm working hard. I'm, of course, teaching at the Schneider Terminal here in Indianapolis. 
we've got a really good program going. They're making adjustments to it. People said, how do I find this, uh, this program where I can get my CDL for free and, and come and drive for Schneider? Well, it's still going, but it has been scaled way back and they are getting it under control and perfected. So we reduced our instructors at the, at the NDOC by about half. It's a small group of us and now we are all involved with both the inexperienced drivers coming in that have a CDL and the new drivers coming in that are getting a CDL. And I've been involved in both programs and it's been going well. I, mean, I work days now. I no longer work that second shift, so I, I'm up early and I'm in there by by 6.45 every morning for our meeting. This week, I've got to go in earlier. I've got to pick up students. So I'll be about an hour earlier. I have to run by like three hotels and pick up various students. And then we go in and work with students all day. But for the most part, I'm left with my truck and either one student or two students and teaching them how to drive and uh, I enjoy it. Tomorrow's Monday, Memorial Day. Guess who's going to work? <laughs> Me. <laughs> yep, I'll be there. Lots of uh, trucking doesn't include holidays, especially the, I mean, most of them focus on Christmas and Thanksgiving, you know, getting you home, but lots of times there are no guarantees for any other time. So we're there. We have students that are here from out of town, sitting in a hotel. We're not going to take the holiday off and have them sit longer. We're going to be there working. So, so things are going well, and, and I just wanted to give you a little update. I'll try to do more as we go. I'm going to go inside there, I think, and, uh, and see what's going on in the truck stop, get a snack maybe, head home. My wife's going to get off work pretty soon, have the rest of the day. So, I'll see you then, okay? Take care. I'll be here.